right now. Secrets revealed to chef-driven Southern food. And it's our secret, like you said. Hi again, everyone. I'm Tim Laird with Kevin Harding. And Tim, this time we're excited to be in our kitchen theater cooking up some Kentucky food. We'll reveal the secret ingredient to these blue ribbon shrimp and grits. Oh, we had a little PBR into it. And we're doing dessert, too. The secret to that and a lot more right now on Secrets of Bluegrass Chef. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Paris Town. This is Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. We welcome you in for a great show today. I'm Kevin Harnett, along with my broadcast partner, Tim Laird. Oh, I'll tell you what, Kevin, and I'm excited to be in Kitchen Theater today because you know what? We're going to make some of my favorite Southern cooking in Kentucky. If you're a connoisseur of shrimp and grits, wait until you see this version. And when you find out the secret ingredient, you'll see why we call it a blue ribbon dish. Chef Chase Schnatter from Cast Southern Kitchen and Bar is here. He's going to reveal that, and he'll show us the secrets to making a key lime pie. Yeah. All right, let's get cooking. Let's bring him on. I'll tell you what, Chef Chase Schnatter from Cast. Hello, Chef. Good to see you, brother. Chase, welcome. Welcome. We're glad you're here. We are happy to have you here today. This we, is going to be exciting. Well, we find it exciting because we love Cask, and yeah. uh, what a nice restaurant you have uh, out just off of Hearst Barn. And, uh, and here we are today. Th these folks are hungry, and they're looking forward to your secrets, right? So we've got a, a few things to talk about. We'll jump into the dishes. Tell us a little bit about yourself before we begin. You know, I've been to been high school here, went to West Kentucky University and stuff, and I just love Louisville, and I love cooking here. And you know what's great about your story, too, Chase, is that you actually had a passion. You were actually on a different career path before you got into the restaurant business. I was. Yes, right? I was. I was. And, and it was an uh, athletic trainer? Uh, it... Athletic physical therapy, what I really wanted to get into, get into out of high school. But, you know, I fell in love with serving and the food industry, and it kind of just altered and changed. And, and I'll tell you what, you really started from a dishwasher and worked yourself up to now executive chef and your passion for cooking is unbelievable and everything you create at Cask is unbelievable. So we're looking forward to this. We are and food is in the family. I know your brother's yeah. an executive chef, your dad owns uh, several restaurants and coffee shops across the city yes, and of course the last name Schnatter, we all recognize that and that's yeah. your uncle. So it is, you, it is. You're yes. one of the few that don't call him Papa. Yeah. yeah uncle <laughs> yes. John. You, you call him Uncle John. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uncle John. Well yeah. listen, so we're, let's get started. Chase, I'm excited. Where do you want to go? I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go right. ahead and start uh, with okay. the uh, shrimp and grits. All right. You'll just walk us through the Yes, steps. walk us through. Get this pan nice and hot. Put a little oil on the bottom of the pan. Take these jumbo shrimp with the tail still on it. Oh, nice. Yes. Now, you know, I found out because the tail actually adds a little flavor to this. It does. It does. Shrimp. Okay. Yes. And it's kind of cool. You can kind of pick it and eat like little cocktail shrimp. Or anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It yeah. has its own handle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Built in for. Yeah, exactly. So put, kind of saute the shrimp a little bit. Add a little salt and pepper. And a little blackened seasoning. Oh, that's nice. So far, this is easy, Kevin. Well, I, I might be able to do this myself. You, I was going to yeah. say. <laughs> we always say, if you know the secrets, you can do it at home. Kind of saute it a little bit, kind of get a little warm. You know, kind of get a little coloration on the, on the shrimp. And those won't take long to cook, right, Jeff? No, they will not. So look at, once the tails get a little color into them, I like to add a little andouille sauces into oh. it. See, there's a little kicker. So the blackened seasoning and now andouille sausage. Yes. This is almost like a little Cajun, a little spice yeah. activity. Kind of cook it down a little bit. Well, I can smell that spices now, that blackening. Mm-hmm. Mm. Real good. And then I like to add a little, we have our andouille gravy that andouille we make. Andouille gravy? Yes, yeah, so we add to it. And it's our secret, like you said, you know, we add a little 
PBR into it, a little chicken stock into it. Oh, you there know, you go. You're, it, a little, a little other stuff into it to make it a little different. You so, know. Now PBR is that Pabst Blue Ribbon yes, beer. Oh, yeah. so this is a Blue Ribbon it's winner. A blue Ribbon yes. winner right here. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. is. <laughs> Keep that away from Tim. He'll be drinking yeah, it down a, out of the mm. container. I like to cook it down. Reduce it a little bit. And then for our grits, uh, I like to, we have Weisenberger grits that we use. Those are excellent. I, a little heavy cream, a little butter into it, kind of cook it down, add a little uh, smoked Gouda, cheddar cheese into it as well. All right. And you know what's fun about cask is too, not only do you have great entrees, but I'll tell you what, the appetizers, their deviled eggs are the best. Mm -hmm. I've never had better there. And, of course, Kevin, I always uh, check out the bar. You're always at the bar. It sits <laughs> in the middle of the restaurant. And you so. have so many great craft cocktails. They're unbelievable. I mean, fresh ingredients. It's amazing. So uh, uh, I love the bar and your cocktail offerings. That changes through uh, the, yeah. the seasons as well. Yeah. Our, our uh, bar manager, Erin, she does very well with creating those cocktails and everything. So that's Fabulous. I tell you, while this is simmering, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We've got the grits when we come back, and then, of course, we have the plate up. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. We're cooking in the kitchen with Chase Schnatter from Cask. We'll be right back on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Nicely done, beef. You might be the only meat with a knife named after you. A protein like no other. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. You're in our kitchen theater right here at Paris Town. And Paris Town is a place where people are discovering this hidden gem. It's a historic neighborhood that's come back to life with food at the cafe, shopping at Stoneware and Company, and a lot of outdoor events on the lawn of Christie's Garden. If you haven't been down here, get down here to check it out. I'll tell you what, and of course, Kevin, Paris Town is home to our Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs Kitchen Theater. And this time, we're cooking with Chef Chase Schnatter from Cask Southern Kitchen and Bar. Here so he is. here we are. We Very started nice. out with a little bit of shrimp. Have some andouille sausage in there. Yes, we did. There's a little Pabst Blue Ribbon beer in there. Uh huh. huh? Right? Yeah, don't drink too much. That's a secret. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's talk about sort of what we're making for folks that may just be joining the show. Obviously, we're spinning up some shrimp and what will be grits. Uh -huh. But we mentioned the seasoning of, of the shrimp. Obviously, we started with the jumbo shrimp. Yep. Talk about some of the seasoning and how much that you put on. I just put a little uh, to taste the salt and pepper and a little bit of blackened seasoning that we have uh, just to kind of give it a little Cajun spicy flavor to it. Okay. All right. So we did that. And then, of course, you put the andouille sausage in there. We sort of simmered that down. It doesn't take long to cook that. No, it doesn't. All right. And the next step is? The next step is we're going to make our grits. Our, uh, so we uh, soak our grits in the water for 24 hours, our Weisenberger grits. Um, there you go. All right. So what we do, we put a little bit of heavy cream and a little bit of butter in the pan. All right, let's in do the pot. that. So the grits are soaked in water. They overnight. are, overnight, and then I take them out, and then I strain them, and so they're nice and moist. So I'll take a little butter, put them in the bottom. That'll probably little. help them cook faster too, right? Yes, it right? cooks better and they're more tender as well. A little heavy cream, a little butter, that's a good start. That's yeah. right. It won't be so gritty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be tender. <laughs> I put a little salt and pepper, kind of season the, uh, the milk or the cream. We have fans of shrimp and grits in the audience. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I take our grits. Now sh and those, those have been soaked? Those have been soaked for 24 hours, and then I take them, I strain them, I dry them out. Okay, I was so going to say, they look dry. They look so. dry, yes. I dry them out really nicely, and then I pour it into uh, our heavy cream that's already up to boil. That's a good secret, to soak them overnight so they... I uh, like that. Yeah, I do too. And I usually use a whisk more than uh, a spatula or anything, just to kind of break the grits away from, so they don't get glumpy and stuck right. together and everything. 
So let that cook for, you know, 20, 20 minutes or so. That's about how much time we got left in yeah, the show. Yeah, <laughs> And then I add the, I add the, uh, our cheddar cheese mixture into it. All right. So by the magic of TV, we're just going to push forward push and pretend me. that they've cooked. Yep. So we got to put some Gouda in there, too. Yeah, smoke Gouda. Howda, as they say in uh, Amsterdam. Gouda? <laughs> howda. Oh, howda. <laughs> Little smoked Gouda into it. Gouda in America. I let it cook down. And then see, look at that, how thick, nice cheesy. And thick. Yep. All right, so a couple cheeses. A couple cheeses. And that's it. We cook down, and then we plate everything together in a nice big old bowl okay. on top well, of it. Let's so. show people at home what that final product looks like. So, through the magic of television, we sort of have it all compiled here. Boom, there it is. And there you see it the nice, creamy shrimp and grits with andouille sausage. See, I like that. Oh. I like the, that's gonna have some spice, some kick to it. Right, well, both from the blackened seasoning and the andouille sausage, and of course, the uh, gravy. And, and the one thing about it is with those uh, creamy grits, so it'll have a little spice, but then the grits will cool your palate down, get all those flavors. That looks great, Chase. Yeah. Oh, very nice. awesome. <laughs> well, I know everybody out here is curious. Did you bring enough to share? I sure did. Oh, you're gonna <laughs> get to take a taste. <laughs> Everybody gets to try shrimp. You get a taste. You get a taste. <laughs> okay, Oprah. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, I wish. We're not finished sharing secrets yet. Yeah. I understand the next thing may be a miracle in the making. It is a key lime pie. So it's a little different. Okay. Wow. A little different. Well, we like yes. different. We'll yes. take another quick commercial break, and when we come back, that key lime pie right here on Secrets of Bluegrass Chef. Nicely done, Beef. You make it acceptable for men to use the word tender. A protein like no other. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. I'm Kevin Harnett, alongside my broadcast partner, Tim Laird. We are grateful to be with you today here at Paris Town. What a beautiful place this is. Gorgeous place, Kevin. I'll tell you what, what a beautiful place. Come on down. I'll tell you what, go to Mint Jewel Tours and uh, get your own seat right yeah. here at Paris Town in the cafe and where you get a sample of everything these wonderful chefs are making. And right now, we're with Chef Chase Schnatter from Cask. And... Uh, yes. It's dessert time. Well, they're clapping because not only is it dessert time, but you mentioned the taste. They just had a chance to take a taste of the shrimp and grits. Good? Yeah. All right. Very nice. Compliments to the chef. Thank you. Thank Chase, you. nicely done on the shrimp and grits. Everyone seemed to like that, along with the andouille sausage. And now it is dessert time. Yes. And we're making a key lime pie without any key, key limes, limes at all. Too. Yes, we are. All so right. we're go first off, we're going to go ahead and start with our condensed milk that all right. I have. So we go ahead and... Take that, we pour just a little bit into our bowl here. All right. And I'll tell you what, that's sweet and condensed milk, so it's nice, sweet, yep. creamy, delicious. Yep. And there aren't very there. many ingredients on the counter, so this must no. not be, I mean, this, this sounds like my kind of recipe, Tim. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so so we'll, you didn't pour all of that in, just a no, little. No, just a little bit in there. Uh, we take our uh, a, uh, egg, we separate the egg yolk from it. So we add the yolk into it. Oop. That's an egg separator, by the way. You can get those. <laughs> <laughs> so three eggs. Just the yolk. Just, Just the, yolk. the yolks. All right. Yep. Make, make that look easy. I always bust the yolk. I know. <laughs> it's the trick of the trade, you know? So we'll take the limes. How many limes are we going to use in this? We're going to use three limes. I'll tell you what, when I see limes, I think gin and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> we'll squeeze it. Look, there's a squeezer too. How about that? Yeah. Look, it, it separates, it squeezes, it does it all, all in one. But wait, there's more. <laughs> That's a handy utensil you've got there. Now, I've seen a lot of things at the Dine Company, including this bowl, but, but not the uh, all-in-one. All-in-one. The handy. <laughs> the handy. 
All right, so uh, we've now successfully squeezed, squeezed the lines. three lines. Yes, and so we, instead of whisking it, I kind of fold it in. Very gentle on that, but you're still getting all the yeah, yolk, all the yolk incorporated mm -hmm. with all the uh, now is it just milk? faster to use limes instead of key limes because they're bigger or what? Well, it's it's taste it'll taste fresher. Okay. Rather than the stuff that's already in prepackaged and stuff, and I like okay. to use fresh ingredients when I make our food at Cast that you know make things taste better, last longer, and I mean plus the customers like it when it tastes fresh. Absolutely. You know? While you're mixing that, tell us what else you have at Cask that's some of your favorite dishes. Well, my one of my favorites is our smoked meatloaf. Uh, we smoke our own meatloaf there. We uh, make it in house. We smoke it for about you know six or seven hours. Uh, we have a large portion with our house made barbecue sauce. We also have a wow. meatloaf sandwich as well. Oh, nice. Yes, Very really good. really good. Like I said, my second favorite is our deviled eggs. Are, oh, are also are. very very good. One of my, my fiance's favorite is our deviled eggs. They are very popular. Yes. You know, uh, Kevin used to smoke meatloaf back in college. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Chef, he tried the comedy we're, show we're, around. It didn't work. So they're like, why don't you just cook, Tim? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shake the shaker. Shake the shaker. All right. Where are we so, at now, So then uh, we three take limes. our three limes and then we make our uh, house made crust out of graham crackers and butter. Uh, we kind of fold it together and then we put it all together and we bake it. We let our uh, crust chill overnight. Tell us the temperature, the temperature, length we, of time. We cook it at 350 degrees for about 10 or 15 minutes. Let it sit there, let it sit overnight, let it cool down and then we pour our key lime, our mixture into it and let it cook for about five or six minutes at 300 degrees. Now one of the secrets too, if you're doing this at home, you can actually buy you can cheat it by buying the graham crust. cracker crust already yes. done, even though you make it fresh at the restaurant. Yes. But hey, if we're at home and I'm in a hurry, I'll just buy it. Buy it, pop but, it in. And there. then you can do his recipe uh, as he's showing you here. So uh, just yep. I like little shortcuts. Right. Yeah. So yeah. from the magic of TV, what that looks like once you chill it, cook it. Wow. And, and you know, here's another thing. It's my mouth kind of. This is the real deal because I've seen like key lime pie that's all green it's yes. like fake this is real deal because it's not that key lime green pie. you see it on social media yes <laughs> <laughs> look at that crust too i know i love that it's set up so nicely i don't really like regular pie crust but i like the graham cracker crust our house made whipped cream nice just a little dollop just a of little the whipped dollop. cream and then a little garnish. And a little garnish. Twist the. You, you see, that's ho that's house made whipped cream. You can tell how nice that is. Yes. And you didn't hear the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from, from the aerosol can. <laughs> from the aerosol can. Right. And there you have it. <laughs> Chase, very nice. For folks that are looking for you, tell them where to find you. Well, you can find us at uh, Cats. Uh, Southern Kitchen and Bar. It's on Lynn Station Road, 9980 Lynn Station Road. <laughs> and, uh, so, and I'll tell you what, they've got a beautiful outdoor area as yes, well. Yes, yes. We are, we wrapped our whole patio around the outside of the building. We have lights and picnic tables and sometimes live music. So y'all come out on a Friday, Saturday night on a nice night. It'll be, it'll be booming. It'll it be is fun. a blast. We've been there many times and the food is always excellent. The drinks are great and the food is uh, really a fun, fun place to go. And, and did I mention the cocktails? <laughs> <laughs> a time or two. <laughs> we might have to go back and try a few more of them because again, they update their uh, menu uh, often as yeah. you do on your food menu yes, too, right? Yes. We're trying to add a couple more Southern different types of food, change the menu up a little bit. So you never know, you might get something new when you come in. Check us out. Very nice. Chase, it's time for us to say goodbye. We appreciate you being here today. Thank, Thank you. you for sharing nice the Nice job, secrets. Chase. Awesome. We appreciate you all for being here, our studio audience. Thank you. If you're looking to be a member of the audience, you can be here and try this delicious food. It's as easy as going to menjulaptours.com. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors that make the show possible as well. We will be back with another edition of Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, everybody.